That's what they pay me for. Exactly. I'm Jonathan Linden, and I'm the chef de cuisine of Bon Appetit magazine. And I'm here with Bill Telepan from Telepan and Galen Zamora from Moss. And we have just created a fantastic menu. Uh, we just finished up with your local herb stuffed lamb and uh, pretty exquisite stuff, I must say. Followed by some fantastic soup and scallops that you put together there, wow. my friend. Thank you very much. Yes. Delicious, both of them. We have abided by the principle of what's called slow food and uh, they push the idea of sustainability, local ingredients, organics, and improvement of biodiversity. You guys lead the way in the principles of slow food. Um, you want to kind of elaborate a little bit? Yeah, both of our restaurants uh, you know, support slow food here in New York City. It was a movement started in Italy by Carlo Petrini. Food's grown locally, it's grown well, it's grown in season. You're eating together, you're eating community. It's more of about uh, just kind of stepping back and enjoying all that together. Yeah, it goes also right into the way the products are raised also, you sure. know, the, not the industrialized, get it, get that s steak onto the table as fast Absolutely. as possible. The animals, you know, are, are, uh, lead a humane life where they uh, feed what, what they're supposed to eat and, and no antibiotics or, or, or hormones given to them, the, you know. And then just also like their arc of taste. What's great about the diversity of the, the foods is that, you know, we change our menu so much is that mm -hmm. you're able to bring in different ingredients that, you know, aren't there. You make it aware to the customers who then go to the farmers that you buy from and they Absolutely. buy it and therefore they're growing more and then, you know, when was the last time, I mean, it was just recently I saw some carnival squash at a, at a market. I Absolutely. Mean, you wouldn't have seen that a couple of years ago. That's right. So that's one of the, the case for it. So we, you know, as restaurateurs, chefs, farmers and consumers get to enjoy a much more widely almost forgotten set of flavors that we have almost lost. Slow food pushes all those principles. It's all about the quality, and that's what we strive for for our food. You know, in addition to good quality ingredients, you need great cookware, and these aniline pots were great. Oh, I love the aniline. I mean, it's, it's made from hard anodized aluminum. It really disperses the heat well. You sear well in it. You can braise in it beautifully. I use it in the culinary studio. Yeah, it's I like fantastic. these uh, ultra-clad ones because uh, you can pop them right in the dishwasher. It makes for an easy cleanup. Yeah, I don't like to clean after I'm cooking. No, Absolutely not. I'm kind of full now. Though. I'm very full. Are we ready to go? Not so fast. We uh, still have my dessert. I hope you guys have room nice. for it. I have yes. a little room left. What do you got there? A little uh, let us down. heirloom apple tart. Oh, beans. excellent. Right. That's so what I'm talking about. Some wine excellent. shop apples. There's some more yeah. caramel sauce back there. If you want I was wondering what this was. Now. Slide that over a little closer to moi. <laughs> For more information, please visit slowfoodusa.org and analon.com. Thank you very much, Bill Telepan, Galen Welcome, Samara. This is Jonathan Lindenau from Bon Appetit Magazine. Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs>